How to Raise Kind and Compassionate Kids Raising kind and compassionate children is one of the most important tasks for parents and caregivers in today's world. In a society that often emphasizes competition and individualism, fostering empathy and kindness can be a challenge, but it's essential for a well-rounded, emotionally intelligent, and socially responsible individual. Cultivating these traits in children requires a deliberate and ongoing effort. Here are several strategies that can help parents guide their children toward becoming compassionate, empathetic individuals. Model kindness and compassion. Children learn most of their behaviors by observing their parents and caregivers. One of the most effective ways to teach kindness and compassion is to demonstrate these qualities yourself. When children see their parents treating others with respect, helping those in need, and showing empathy, they are likely to mirror those actions. Whether it's through everyday interactions with family, friends, or strangers, your child will learn how to treat people by watching how you treat others. For example, if a neighbor is sick, you could involve your child in making a get-well card or preparing a meal to deliver. When they witness acts of generosity and kindness in their immediate environment, it normalizes those behaviors, making it more likely they'll adopt them as their own. Encourage empathy. Empathy is the cornerstone of kindness and compassion. To raise empathetic children, help them understand and recognize the emotions of others. From a young age, encourage them to think about how their actions affect other people. You can start by labeling emotions for them. For instance, if they see someone crying, you can say, that person is sad. How do you think we could help them feel better? As children grow older, you can introduce more complex discussions about feelings. Asking open-ended questions like, how do you think your friend felt when that happened, or what would you want someone to do for you in that situation, helps children consider other people's perspectives, which is key to building empathy. Reading books or watching movies together that showcase different emotions and situations also provide a platform to discuss feelings. This not only helps children develop emotional intelligence, but also strengthens their ability to relate to others. Encourage acts of kindness. Children are naturally inclined to help others, but they often need encouragement and opportunities to act on this instinct. Create opportunities for your child to practice kindness. This could be as simple as encouraging them to share with a sibling, help a classmate, or assist with household chores. Small acts of kindness can build a foundation for more significant acts as they grow. Additionally, consider involving your children in community service or charitable activities. Whether it's volunteering at a food bank, donating toys to less fortunate kids, or helping an elderly neighbor, these experiences teach children the value of contributing to the well-being of others. Make sure to discuss the importance of these actions so that children understand the impact they're having on others. Teach conflict resolution. It's unrealistic to expect children to be kind all the time, especially when conflicts arise. However, teaching them how to handle disputes with kindness and respect is a crucial part of raising compassionate individuals. Instead of resorting to punishment when children argue or act out, use these moments as learning opportunities. Teach them how to express their feelings without being hurtful. For instance, instead of yelling or name-calling, encourage them to use I feel statements, like I feel upset when you take my toy without asking. Also, encourage them to listen to the other person's perspective and work together to find a solution. Role-playing can be an effective tool to teach conflict resolution skills. By practicing different scenarios, children can learn how to approach disputes with empathy and understanding, rather than anger or frustration. Praise kindness and compassion. Positive reinforcement is a powerful tool in shaping behavior. When you notice your child being kind or showing empathy, make sure to acknowledge and praise their actions. This doesn't mean giving material rewards, but rather verbal affirmations like, I'm so proud of how you helped your friend today or it was very kind of you to share your toys. Praising their compassionate behaviors reinforces the idea that kindness is valued and important. Over time, children internalize these values and are more likely to act with kindness and empathy even when no one is watching. Set limits on technology. Technology, particularly social media, can sometimes hinder the development of empathy and kindness in children. 
Excessive screen time or exposure to negative content can reduce opportunities for face-to-face -face interaction, which is essential for developing social and emotional skills. To counter this, set reasonable limits on screen time and encourage activities that promote empathy, such as playing with friends, reading, or engaging in family discussions. Additionally, teach your children about digital kindness. Help them understand the impact of their words and actions online, just as you would in real life. Remind them that behind every screen is a real person with feelings, and they should treat others with respect and kindness, even in the digital space. Conclusion Raising kind and compassionate children takes time, effort, and intentionality. By modeling empathy, providing opportunities for kindness, and teaching important social skills, parents can guide their children toward becoming thoughtful, empathetic individuals. The world benefits when more children grow up understanding the value of kindness and compassion, values that will serve them well in all areas of life.